Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to panache, which is either a courage or a drink. So no idea what the devo Quarkus developer thought about, but let's do this. And in our case, it is going to be an alternative Quarkus persistence. So let's start with the coding. Before we start, uh, I will use my um, own Postgres Docker file, which is, uh, or use uh, Postgres 12 to run the example. And it is already started and it runs here within the Docker. And um, what um, I would like to do is, so I'm just, um, I, would, I would like to start with the, uh, to create the project. Let's do this. And the project name is going to be workshops, workshops. And uh, yeah, now, the folder is created and what I would like to do is to, to start the editor inside the project and um, what I will also have to do is to use a view extensions. So and uh, now let's go and list them and I would need a JDBC driver first and this is going to be a Postgres. Uh, it is Quarkus Postgres uh, JDBC. And, uh, oh, because I see this right now, this is also what I will have to do is, so I will use, have to add a few extensions. And the first one was um, the um, REST easy JSON B. So this is uh, for testing. I will I like to have a JSON B serialization of entities. And what I also would like to do is to have uh, Panache itself. So this is the dependency, and I also would like to have the uh, Postgres JDBC. So and this is just, I think, other way around, JDBC Postgres. Just a driver, optimized driver. Now I'm ready to go. What I uh, would like to do is to compile the code and run Quarkus. Now, it should, should look good, and it does, so um, everything is installed. And now, uh, let's modify the example a bit. I will just reuse the code here, so this hello resource, and I will make it a workshop resource. So, workshops, this is going to be a media type JSON. Where is it? Media type... media time <laughs> application JSON and um, I would like to have an entity called workshop Java and this is just a regular Java class and it comes with a name uh, and a date and the date is a local date this is the date and this basically it so there is nothing else required so I only have to import that and um, what I could already do, I could just expose the workshop workshop here and do the workshop workshop equals new workshop and then just set the properties. Date is equals local date now and a workshop name equals, let's say, cloud native or better quarkification perfect so now workshop so like that and so this will return and actually we can do this here for all methods so now so this will return a single workshop as an example and what I will, would also like to do is to save a workshop, a workshop, workshop, and with post. And I would like to consume um, media type, the same story, application, JSON. So, and then here, so, so. great workshop. This already could work, so let's try that. So another terminal, and let's go with curl 
minus x and it's going to be post. Oh, sorry. First, we need to fetch localhost 8080 slash workshops. And we get the workshop. And then I could try to send it back. And then I will have to set the header content type. And this is going to be application slash JSON. Then use that. And for this, I have to use this minus, minus D. Minus D. Like this. And then the URI is again localhost 8080 slash workshops. And uh, let's see. No content is good news if I switch here to to Quarkus, so it was received twice. Perfect. So now let's try to persist that. So for this purpose, I will need to configure Quarkus to talk to a database. And by the way, my database is already running, so I can just look at the connection. This is um, localhost, airhacks, and the name of the database is Postgres. So I would like to connect, and uh, I will have to add the super secret password. Uh, connect, clear, connect. Use a GPL, edit. Oh, this is what we like to connect. Okay, this works. So I'll just uh, connect it to a wrong, um, to a wrong service. So, um, here we have it, and um, now what we have to do. So first, we will need uh, some configuration, and this is the Panache configuration. It's basically what we had earlier in uh, in Persistence XML or in Java Project Persistence XML. Now we have it in Properties, and uh, just go here, and then so the database is Postgres. The uh, I'm not Sarah, so let's air hex, and the super secret password was also air hex. So there is one 100% one, terminator free example now. And drop and create, so tables has to, can, should be dropped and created on demand. Now, to make it persistent first, of course, we need an entity annotation. But also, we have to inherit from Panache entity. So take a look what it actually does. So first, we get the generated value ID and then a nicer to streak version. Then uh, Panache Entity Base, what we have, we have a persist method, and it looks like um, we are inheriting from kind of a DAO data access object or repository, delete, persistence, and generate bridge. So we have some methods which, which provide additional hints for the uh, Quarkus optimizations behind the scenes. So, okay, so it seems like we could already use it. So post should be actually transactional. So we have, we have to start and stop transactions. And here, what I have to do is now I have to say persist. And um, so usually you will inject entity manager and call persist, and now we can just call persist. And uh, this I would like to modify a bit. So instead of doing that, I would rather return a list, a list of workshops and just call it workshops and uh, also import the list and this does not doesn't make any sense anymore so instead i would do return workshops workshop dot list and list all okay now let's try that so first post again so we get no content back. Let's take a look what happened. And we got workshop null because the ID is null, which is true. So we already see the two string from Panache is taken. And then I can just go curl localhost 8080 workshops, workshops. And we see the, do it again, and it is working. And um, now let's switch to the to my database client and refresh. We have the workshop table and we have two two workshops inside. So it seems to work. 
Um, so it is very lean and a nice solution. It is not a micro profile or Java standard, but is fully based on or is this, it uses JP annotations and uh, inherits from own uh, data uh, DAO repository pattern. So uh, it is easy to use and you can save a lot of code. So here I don't have I'm done using entity managers. I do not remapping the object. It just works out of the box. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, workshops, um, or even projects. So um, thank you and bye.